there are a few ways to get the measurements of a spring. These methods will work for both torsion springs and extension springs. If you choose to use a spring wire gauge, insert the gauge into the spring and count 20 coils. Once you have reached the 20th coil, look on the gauge markings to determine the wire size. Part 425 measures wire sizes between 125 and 625. If you prefer to use a pocket wire gauge, you'll be able to find the correct wire size matching the coils to the correct wire size key. The key should exactly match the coils of the spring. Part 427 is for wire sizes 187 through 312, while part 446 is for wire sizes 319 through 500. The wire size can also be figured by counting 20 coils of the spring and measuring the length of these 20 coils in inches. Take that measurement in inches and divide it by 20 coils. So if your 20 coils measured 5 inches, take 5 and divide it by 20, giving you 250 for a wire size. To determine the length of a torsion spring, measure from the outside of the first coil to the outside of the last coil, excluding all cones. Torsion and extension springs must be measured in their relaxed state. If a tape measure isn't available, the length can be determined by counting the number of coils and multiplying this by the wire size. For example, a spring with 100 coils of 250 wire would be 25 inches long. To figure out what the inside diameter of a spring is, measure the inside diameter from inside coil to inside coil with a tape measure or caliper. The inside diameter can also be determined by taking the outside diameter and subtracting two times the wire size.